Hello everyone, it's February 23rd, 2024, Friday. That old morning paper hit the sidewalk. I'm Ian Wan and this is the Black Canyon the City Show. Held it in my hand we are in Black Canyon City, Arizona. Nestled between the foothills of the Bradshaw Mountains and the New River Mountains. We hope you had a great day. Hey everybody. So, this one's more about perception. Humans uh, have, their brain is like a quantum computer times 20. Our perceptions are inputs that we have 13 different inputs that we perceive and learn on a daily basis. As a human goes, this is all humans. So, <laughs> we use anywhere from five to seven a day to learn uh, and do things in throughout our day on a daily basis. So that's what makes one perception different from another persons we didn't learn the same we don't learn the same way and so we're different and it can be mixed up of any one of those 13s I mean it can be intertwined with how it, you perceive things so there's you know I mean that's 13 different variations that's a big number I mean there's a lot of individual alities out there that and it's all due to our perceptions. It's like, uh, what I mean is, well, like uh, your eye. Well, your eye is not ah. smooth. <laughs> He's quick. Your eye is not this smooth vision we have. That's not what it is. They've already studied our eyes and they flash. It's a flash going to the back of our brain, upside down, twisted. <laughs> How it gets to be this beautiful high definition when you look around is it's incredible really this, this body is quite the incredible machine basically what I'm trying to get at is is we all have a different view of things because of this that's what makes us all unique in that we learned differently each of us so, <laughs> for example, I was taught to be constructive in everything I did, daily, everything, everything I thought about, make it constructive, make it constructive. That was pounded in my head as a little kid. Because I'd always ask, well, can I go do this? Well, is it going to be constructive or destructive? And I'd have to look at it that way. So I was perceiving it through that lens, I guess. Okay. So, well, I didn't want to, you know, piss my dad off. That's the last thing I wanted to do. He'd totally beat the crap out of you if you looked at him wrong. So, no, that's not true. You, he actually gave, well, he gave me three chances. The third one was a doozy. And I... I don't know if I can agree that it was right. It was just the way he did it. I say that because he was raised a certain way and he used his receiver's perception of his life daily on how he did it. Um, and for all you know, it could have been just as screwed up as what he did you know, to his own family. Song that says, you know, can't blame it on my father. I mean, he did the best he could for me. 
you get my point. So, what causes someone to be all about themselves? I have a good friend who I wholeheartedly trust. I would trust trust him with my life. And he believes there's only two kind, kinds of people. And he's right. There are really only two kinds of people. It, if you really boil it down. You have people who are compassionate. And then you have people who are narcissistic. Well. And see, in my perception of that is that everybody can be narcissistic. Who isn't about a little bit about themselves every once in a while? They, they should be. Uh, just, and I'll go to an example, that if you don't pay attention to your body, you could end up having, oh, say, 150 bugs removed from your nasal cavity. You're probably going, what? Where'd that come from? Yeah. I believe it was a guy in, in Jacksonville, Florida, in October of last year, said he started feeling funny symptoms up here. It's kind of hot and burning. Well, <laughs> what, three days, two days ago? Three days ago. He, uh, he went into the hospital and said his face was on fire. Oh my God, oh, I'm not gonna help him. And so they proceeded to start to pull bugs out of his nasal cavities, and 150 of them. He said the biggest is Pinky. He says his whole face was on. Talk about not having perception, huh? About your own body? That's not narcissism. I mean, that's just being clean. I, I would. How? How could you have 150 bugs crammed up into your nasal cavity? I mean, I saw on house when, you know, a kid was putting a little fire truck men up his nose trying to get whatever is wrong in his nose fixed with the firemen. That was cute. But this, could you imagine? They were nesting in October. That's why they were. Oh, what, would, what kind of conditions would you have to be living in to have that happen to, to you? Okay, so being clean isn't necessarily narcissistic. However, somewhere in, in somebody's life that is narcissistic has to have the opportunity to change to have compassion in their life for another human being. It has to happen somewhere in their lives. And that's the epiphany, I think, that a lot of people don't get to late in age for many numerous reasons and then I I believe a lot of people who were compassionate as a child become narcissistic due to the trespassings of life and what others do to you because they grew up in with their perceptions that were all jacked up but they're living with the six or seven or five that they use every day it's just theirs is Somewhere along the way, the wiring's got crossed, and so the signal isn't at the right voltage. And then you have these narcissistic people. But I still believe <clears throat> that even that can be changed to a compassionate person through belief. So, anyway. Yeah, 150 freaking bugs in your nasal cavity. That's fucking gross. Oh, God. I can't stand bugs crawling on me. And you can only imagine where I got that from, right? <laughs> I can't. Hit that fucking through the roof. I get something on me. Yeah, it's like lightning shooting through my head. I wake up sometimes. <laughs> fucking screaming, thinking it was a bug. You know, it ends up being a hair or something, but... Yeah, yeah, I wonder where I got that, that perception from. Thanks guys, you everybody have a great day. 
Well, it appears to be a nice little drive. Everybody's cruising to the tune, singing some songs, and it appears a little bug, a little bug that can do absolutely nothing to you, and they are all freaking out as she continues to slap a face, slapping the living shit out of this girl. My God, I think it's all over. Putting other lives in danger all because of a little freaking bug. The best part of this is not only the slaps, but the reaction. The fear starts to settle in, and she's like, Oh my god, this little bug! And she just starts to slap a bay, slaps the living snot at her, a couple of shots to the back of the dome, a couple of shots to the front, giving her the taste of the backhand. Just about every combination of slap is being utilized here tonight, and uh, we'll just go ahead and flip it on to Benny Hill mode. Come on down to Black Canyon Plaza and visit us at Arizona Desert Outlaws and Adventures. We have local handmade gifts, unique, one of a kind for that person you can't buy a gift for. Well, we have it. We also have fun trips to the ranch, Castle Creek Waterfall, and authentic gold panning. Give us a call at 623-261-0495. And have an adventure and buy the gift for that impossible person. <laughs> 